Hello everyone! Alamin natin kung ano ba ang independent at dependent variables. For example, a science student wants to know the amount of sunlight needed for the growth of a specific plant. Alamin natin kung ano ba yung independent at dependent variable dito sa ating situation. First, define muna natin ang independent variable is the variable that can be controlled. It is assumed to have a direct effect on the dependent variable. So given itong situation natin, ano ba yung pwede nating kontrolin as a science student? Here, pwede nating galawin yung amount of sunlight na natatanggap nung ating halaman. Ilalagay ba natin siya sa maaraw o dun sa hindi masyado or lalagay natin siya sa mas madilim na lugar. It is a variable that we can control and that is our independent variable. The amount of sunlight exposed to the plant. And gusto rin kasi nating malaman yung amount ng sunlight ba na yun ay nakaka-apekto dun sa paglago ng ating halaman. Kasi our dependent variable is the variable being tested or measured. Tinetest lang natin siya or sinusukat kasi hindi natin siya nakokontrol. Yung value daw niya may change according to our independent variable. Going back to our situation, ano ba yung pwedeng maapektuhan ng ating independent variable na amount of sunlight? And yes, that is the growth of our plant. So, our dependent variable is the growth of the specific plant. We can check kung tama ba yung ginawa natin by looking at our situation. Dapat, yung independent variable may have an effect dun sa ating dependent variable. So, titignan natin yung amount of sunlight na naka-expose yung ating halaman ay nakaka-apekto dun sa growth nung specific na halaman natin. Yun ba yung gustong malaman ng ating science student? Yes, ayun yun. Pero pag binaliktad kasi natin na yung dependent variable ay yung root papunta kay independent, tama ba na sabihin na yung paglago ng halaman ay nakaka-apekto dun sa sunlight na naka-expose sa kanya? That is wrong kasi eto kinokontrol natin yung root ng halaman, hindi natin siya kayang kontrolin. So we are right that this is our independent variable and this is our dependent variable. Let us do more examples. We have to determine the independent and dependent variable given the following situations. A psychology student wants to know if the emotional quotient of a student affects his or her performance in a math test. So, tignan natin ano ba yung possible variables dito. Yung psychology student, siya yung nagawa ng ating study. Tapos, ang unang variable natin ay yung emotional quotient ng estudyante. At yung pangalawang variable naman natin ay yung performance niya sa math test. As we look at our given, gusto nating malaman kung yung EQ ba, emotional quotient, ay nakaka-apekto sa performance sa math test. So, looking at that logic, ang ating independent variable ay yung emotional quotient ng studyante at eto naman ang ating dependent variable which is the performance in math test. Kasi gusto nating malaman kung ang emotional quotient ba ng studyante ay nakaka-apekto sa math test not the other way around, na yung performance ng math test ay nakaka-apekto sa EQ kasi ang EQ, this is already fixed. Itong performance sa math test ang pwede nating sukatin. Next, for our second one, a scientist studies the impact of drug A on cancer cells. So, what is our independent variable? As we look, ang independent variable naman natin ay yung paggamit ng drug A. Gusto nating malaman yung paggamit ba ng drug ay nakaka-apekto dun sa cancer cells. So, our dependent variable is impact on cancer cells. Kasi yung independent variable natin, the use of drug A, pwede natin siyang kontrolin in terms of dosage. And then, gusto nating malaman kung nakaka-apekto siya dun sa cancer cells. So, we have our independent and dependent variables. For our last example, a pathologist studies the reaction of salmonella bacteria to a new antibiotic developed. So, ano yung pwede nating kontrolin Ano yung variable na pwedeng maka-apekto dun sa isa nating variable? Of course, our independent variable here is the application ng antibiotic. Again, we can control the dosage and then gusto nating malaman kung eto ba ay nakaka-apekto dun sa reaction ng ating salmonella bacteria. So we have our independent variable, the use of the new antibiotic, and our dependent is 
the reaction of salmonella bacteria. Not the other way around, kasi kapag ka nabaliktad natin, yung reaction ng salmonella bacteria ang nakaka-apekto dun sa paggamit ng antibiotic, which is not true dun sa ating situation. So, tama tayo na yung gamit ng antibiotic, titignan natin kung nakaka-apekto dun sa reaction ng salmonella bacteria. Music